when a child, you know, loses their favorite pet or, or someone, you know, a loved one, you know, close to them passes away, what we naturally want to do is we want to rescue them from these feelings. You know, we see this poor, helpless, vulnerable child. When we look at that poor, vulnerable child, it's, it's a reflection in ourselves and we're thinking, you know, unconsciously, geez, I felt like that when I was a kid. And we want to rescue them and we want to say, you know, things like, oh, no, look, it's okay. You know, the, the puppy's just gone to go live on the farm. And we, we come up with these elaborate explanations that are really just trying to teach this child that, you know, soothe their feelings and, and make them feel less vulnerable. Um, we're just trying to cover up and distract from the truth and reality of those feelings. You know, really all we need to do is say it's okay. Yes, this did happen, but that's okay. What happens when we keep teaching ourselves that, you know, it's not okay is we're conditioning ourselves to be overwhelmed and, and keep all those things in the dark space, which isn't healthy. So that child's gonna grow up, you know, and it's gonna have these fears and these anxieties and it's never gonna feel like anything's okay and that's gonna be detrimental for the child. So really what we need to do is just tell that child that it's going to be okay. We might try to rescue that child from that feeling and say, look, this person's better off in heaven now. Heaven's a great place, you know, it's, it's an amazing place. We're trying to fix and problem solve that problem that that child is having. We're trying to fix the fact that they are having a negative emotion. And that's not something that needs fixing. That, that ability or that, that effort, you know, that thing that we're doing, that process we're doing in trying to fix that problem is really just creating a problem later on. Because then when that, you know, sometimes there's things that can't be fixed and then that, per that child is gonna grow up and not be able to, you know, deal with those emotions very well. And, and that's gonna be negative for them. You know, sometimes we can't, sometimes it's not about fixing problems, okay? It's just about acknowledging that they're there and moving, moving forward. You know, feelings and emotions and, and thoughts are perfectly natural things. I guess the problem most of us have is that we don't really know how to deal with them very well. It's okay to feel sad. You know, it's normal to feel sadness after you've experienced a loss or you've lost your pet or something you really care about. You know, it's okay, that's normal, that's natural. That's not something we should be, you know, trying to fix because in all, by trying to fix it, we're saying it's wrong to feel that way. So then next time we feel that way, we just struggle and we, we try to distract ourselves and, and we turn to drugs. You know, a lot of people that have had a lot of pain and a lot of trauma in their lives turn to drugs. They create these harmful drug addictions trying to avoid those feelings. If a parent or, you know, a teacher or somebody in their life when they were a child had have told them that, you know, it's okay to feel sad about these things. It's, it's okay to experience traumas and feel these way. Um, it's okay to cry, it's okay to get angry, it's okay to be upset, it's okay. If someone had told a lot of those people at you know those pivotal moments when they were children, when they were being conditioned, that everything was okay, maybe they wouldn't be struggling with that addiction now. You know, maybe they'd be a lot more healthy now. Maybe they'd have a healthier relationship with themselves and they'd be able to acknowledge those thoughts and feelings and they'd be able to move forward. They'd be, over, they'd be able to overcome those problems and those hurdles, those things that are holding them back now.